What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video. Today I am here to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite nootropics, uridine monophosphate, and how it may actually support cognitive function and specifically focusing on memory and dopamine support. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to give you guys such cutting edge information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please be sure to smash that subscribe button below as I'll be releasing a lot more novel content over the next coming months. All right, so the first study that I want to present is how short-term administration of uridine increases brain membrane phospholipid precursors in healthy adults. Now, a lot of nootropics get scrutinized and, and um, you know, hated upon because they don't have any studies in healthy volunteers. Um, now, this is an issue with a lot of the novel research chemicals that I've spoken about in my nootropics masterclass. And that is true, but it's always very exciting when we see research conducted in healthy adults. Um, so, and before I get into all of these awesome research studies, if you want to know where to purchase uridine, um, I have a link to that in the video description. So anyway, this study looked at basically how uridine supplementation increased total uh, phosphomonoesters. So these play a crucial role in um, preserving membrane integrity and they play a crucial role in synaptic plasticity and, th and um aspects related to cognitive function. So what they found was that uridine significantly increased uh, phosphomonoesters and phosphoethanolamine, it's quite a hard one, um, over the one week period. Uh, and other metabolites such as phosphatidylcholine and some of the other uh, compounds, GPETN and PDE and GPCO, GPCHO showed no significant changes, um, but sustained administration of uridine appears to increase um, these phosphomonoesters in healthy adults, which is very impressive. And keep in mind that uridine can get converted into CDP choline. So it's, a, it's an acetylcholine donor. Um, so for those who are sensitive to um, the acetylcholine donors such as CDP choline, choline by tartrate or alpha GPC, uridine monophosphate can be uh, more beneficial. Uh, this study looks at how dietary uridine enhances the improvement in learning and memory produced by administering GHA to uh, gerbils. Um, so DHA plus choline improved performance on the forearm radial maze, T maze and Y maze tests and co-administering -administer uridine further enhanced these increases. All three compounds also act by enhancing the substrate saturation of phospho phosphatide synthesizing enzymes. These findings demonstrate that a, that a treatment that increases synaptic membrane content can enhance cognitive function in normal animals. So yet again, another impressive study. By the way, guys, if you simply have a look online, and see people's experiences with uridine. It pretty much matches like my personal experience. Uridine simply enhances verbal fluency. It improves learning and memory, improves short-term memory, uh, and just makes everything a lot more fluid and coherent and definitely helps you get into that flow state. Um, so that's a huge plus. Uh, dietary uridine, Supplementation increases potassium evoked dopamine release and promotes neurite outgrowth in aged rats. Um, uridine definitely has a dopamine feel to it. It, it definitely improves uh, motivation. It reduces procrastination. And what's very important to note is that at lower doses, it's actually stimulating and higher doses beyond 400 milligrams is actually sedating. So my personal favorite dosage range is between 50 milligrams to 150 milligrams orally, not sublingually. 
obviously this is not medical advice, but that's just my experience. Um, this study was looking at how uridine has a restorative effect in, um, in Parkinson's disease by protecting and restoring dopamine transmission. And guys, bear in mind that uridine pairs very well with DHA. So if you're not eating enough seafood, then supplementation may be warranted. Um, and also uridine can deplete B6, B9, and B12. So be sure to um, make sure you have sufficient B6, B9, and B12 as uridine may deplete that or deplete those levels. So um, I'll probably be dedicating another future video to uridine because I'm sure there'll be more research coming out over the next um, few months and things like that. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel um, and please share the video around and also check out my nootropics masterclass. I delve into some of the most underground nootropics that 99% of the population hasn't even heard of. Um, so there's a link to my nootropics masterclass in the video description. Um, so guys, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.